Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Traffic Vehicle Library version 1.4, the most recent release. And this is for those who already own the Polygonic tool. You can now simply go over to the Polygonic page right here on Blender Market or on Gumroad and update it. Now the version 1.4 does come with a couple of things that you might want to check out. And of course, if you're getting new to this and you would like to own it right now, there is a 30% off that you can get and this is running from now till november the 30th and it's pretty cool you can use captain 30 bm as a coupon code when you're checking out and it's lovely so some of the things you'll be able to get with this right now is 10 extra assets and this asset has to do with air and water stuff and it's pretty dope the last time we talked about the traffic we looked at the fact that you can actually create car rigs automatically with this and you can snap them to surfaces and have them animate across that surface and it's extremely nice there's also a couple of utilities that also comes with this and you can actually go ahead and take advantage of this and uh, start working with it so with blender simply open what you need to do is go over to edit go over to preference and install it and once you do let's uh let's just simply get a plane right about there and then tap N on the keyboard and once you have it installed if you click you would notice you have the polygonic now i do own the botanic and also the traffic and you can see the both of them here so if you like to spawn some assets with the traffic, if you click on this big button called spawn asset, you can see that we have some aircraft stuff. So if I go ahead and select aircraft, click on this button and you would notice that we have six new stuff and uh, they look pretty dope. So if I select any of these, click on OK. Let's actually set this make editable there. You know, click on OK, have that there. Let's grab this, scale this all the way up. And yes. So once we have this ready, we can go over to cycles. And of course, we can switch over to the render so we can see that. And for sure, if you now have this object selected, there's a couple of new extra things that you can do. Despite the fact that before you can actually turn on the lights and they sort of kept that for most of the models that are also new. So if we go over and turn off these lights now, and we'll like to have this plane turn on lights, we can go all the way to the section and turn on the lights. And so we would like to get some high beam lights and you can see them. And that's the main reason why we dropped the plane in the first place. So let's move this and you can see them. And I can also select the object and choose to turn off the light. And it's turned off parking lights and you see parking lights and we have the low beam lights and you see the low beam lights. And if you like the high beam light, you can also turn this on. So you have all of this and uh, you can also go ahead and do this. So if I turn on this entire light, and have this object selected down here, you'd notice that we have the wear and tear sliders. So just in case you like to add some more dirt onto your model, you can, you know, specify how much, click on set and set that in. If you like to have some more scratches, we can also crank this all the way up and click on set to set those scratches in. And you can literally start seeing some scratches like this. And I can also go ahead and, you know, drop that down, click on this, and you would notice that the scratches are gone if you like to bump up some bumps okay so you can also bump these things up and click on this and we can sort of get those bumpy things happening so this is awesome but then if you also like to take a look at some of the extra new stuff that they have let's uh undo this and let's make another copy and move this all the way to this point all right so if you like to take a look at some other ones there is also a couple of other cool things like the hot air balloon, the Robinson. You can also take a look at the Boeing 737, which is uh, pretty dope. And of course, if you also like this to be placed somewhere, let's just hold down shift and right click there. Let's say we like this one to be placed where, you know, here, we can just click on this button and we would get the Boeing 737 right on our viewport. Now, once you have your Boeing 737, you can also see that these models are made to scale. And this is uh, also something that is very nice that I do love that the folks at Polygonic always do. You know, they try as much as possible to keep these things up to scale. And if you're not comfortable with what color that you have, you can always select the object, go over to the change color and you can change the color, all right? So you can choose to use a random color or you can just go ahead and uh, specify a given color. So I can go with green and then click on okay. And then you have a green plane. And if you would like to have 
you know, this type of plane, this type, this type, this type, you have all the colors you want and it's just beautiful. Despite the planes that you're having, you can click on this button and then we can go all the way to watercraft actually. And you can see the set of watercraft that we have. You want to get a ferry? That's cool. Click on that. Make sure that you have random. I think random looks cool and click on OK. And this will be placed right here. So I've already talked about uh, some of the cool features that came with version 1.3. And for those who haven't seen that, or maybe you're seeing this for the first time, if you go over to the spawn, you can go to contemporary cars and you can see that we have some very cool cars like this and you can select any of these cars and you can, you know, just click on OK to have them. You can go to classic cars and you can see some more classic cars. You can go over to public transport. You can see some more stuff. If you'd like to take a look at supercars, there's a supercar right there. There's also some street elements, which you might also be needing, depending on the kind of scene that you're constructing. And of course, if you like to get some bicycles, you can also see that we have a couple of bicycles that you can pick from. And for the cars, one of the cool things with the cars, like we mentioned, is uh, to any of these cars you select, let's say we go ahead and uh, select the Ford Mustang and click on OK. So once the Ford Mustang comes in, let's jump right over there and take a look. You would notice that the Ford Mustang comes in as a rigged model. So this simply means that you can just go, you know, you can go crazy with this at this point. So you can simply select this, go over to where you have your pose and you can start animating. And it's just, it's just that dope. All right. So you can start animating. Let's switch this all the way back. All right. So you can start animating your model and this is, this is wild. All right. So depending on what you want, you have this ready and you can just have your vehicle moving back and forth. You can control several parts like this, all right? So depending on what you want, you just have these things at your back and call. And like we mentioned, you can also do a serious sort of customization to the tensions and also to how you like uh, the lighting to be and also how you like to play with the wheels and all that stuff. So this is more like it for those who would like to take a look at all of this and maybe you would like to play with it. You can simply go over to the Blender Market page I'm going to put this link in the description so you can find it where you can grab this and update the add-on that you have and start playing with it. And for sure, if you would like to get this for the first time, you can simply get this with a 30% off by simply using this coupon code right here called Captain Tati BM. So this is more like it. For those who like to see some more products from the folks at Polygonic, you can go over to their storefront where you can see lots of products that they have and they do have some very impressive products like the Botanic, the Material League, the Render Set, Material, and also the traffic. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.